Hello, wayward travelers. Um, I've had a lot of people hitting me up asking me about our uh, exclusive to Exegol Outpost removable crystal chambers. So we're going to talk about these uh, for just a second, and I'm going to show you real quick how they work. Um, just so you kind of know, because, you know, conceptually, they can be a little bit difficult to understand um, if you're just looking at a picture of them. So this is our crystal chamber. You can see we've got a quartz crystal here. Most crystal chambers work on the same concept. You've got your face connector here. You've got your pin connector here. Um, except usually um, these can be wired directly into the chassis. Um, but, you know, we came up with the idea uh, that it might be better if you had the option to, to put it in or take it out as you please. So, without further uh, delay. Let's talk about placing it in there. So you see we have our uh, pixel plug here, um, which we're just going to use for the purpose of demonstrating proof of concept, if you will. Um, this is one of our uh, hilts that has the uh, golden harvest board in it. So you can see here, I believe this one is powered down, so we'll power it back up. Wait, there we go. There we have it. All right. So, that's what it's going to look like. That's the color that the blade is going to be. Now we're just going to simply take our uh, removable crystal chamber and we're going to drop it in like so. So now you can see the crystal chamber is inside there right in our little nice pre-cut viewing window which uh, some of the hilts have these um, we do have extensions on our site listed that you can add an extension to the section here um, well it would be actually here the section that's right on top of your uh, your switch section because your cores let's uh, talk about that real quick while we're on the subject and your cores will extend a little bit here. So um, you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, your saber, if you're not uh, cutting a hole yourself, or if you're not having uh, Kyber Smith, um, our featured builder, cut a hole for you, uh, a viewing window, so to speak, you're gonna wanna make sure you get one of the extensions that has one in it already, um, because it is going to take up uh, just about, an, uh, maybe about an inch and a half of space inside your hilt. Uh, so if you don't have that inch and a half of space to give uh, so that you can seat your blade well, you're going to want to make sure that your hilt is long enough to accommodate that. Okay, <clears throat> so once again, we're going to place our chamber right there and it's going to sit on top of our uh, core. Then we're going to take our plug, you know, or blade and we're going to put that right on top right here. And I do have a set screw in here already. We just got to find the right hole. Here we go. So you're going to want to make sure that you give it a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit of pressure so that you have a good secure connection between the pins and the face plates. And then give it a little twist, secure it, and fire it up. So there it is. <clears throat> And of course, this basically replaces the uh, first pixel in your pixel blade. So whatever color you're telling your blade to be, your uh, crystal will be also. So let's demonstrate that real quick. we go to another setting here. I'm not sure exactly which one. Let's see. Eternal Prince. Okay, that sounds good. Let's lock in that sound font. And any blade effect that you have, flashing, strobing, pulse, um, it's all going to be reflected in the crystal as well. So, super cool. And when you're done or you don't want to use that particular chamber, you just pop it out and be done with it. So, let's take a look through some other colors here. Let's see.
just for fun. And of course these do all have the same blade effect on this, so you're going to get that flickering effect. there you have it. So these are available. I think we were originally a green here. Let's get back to our green. There we go. Right about there. Let's lock that one in. <clears throat> so <clears throat> again, these are now available on our website at exegaloutpost.com. Um, they are in a limited supply. Uh, it does take time to manufacture these. Um, a great big shout out and a big thanks to our featured builder, Kybersmith, who, uh, who was the one who conceived these removable crystal chambers and uh, was more than happy and willing to work with us at Exegol Outpost to bring these to you guys. Um, so give him a shout out as well. Um, if you purchase one of these from him, um, you know, make sure and drop a review. Um, we really appreciate all the support you guys have given us, and thanks for stopping by the outpost. Yeah.